Ngayon naman, i-convert naman natin yung mga complex number into its standard form. So, mapapansin nyo sa example number 1 and number 3, we have 3 cosine 45 degrees plus i sine 45 degrees. Masasabi natin na complex number siya kasi meron tayong real part at merong imaginary part. But we can still simplify this complex number into its standard form by doing the following step. So, in this case, for number 1, we know that cosine 45 degrees in the unit circle is basically square root of 2 over 2, so pwede natin siyang i-replace by square root of 2 over 2, at yung sine 45 naman is square root of 2 over 2 then. So, meron na tayo ngayong mga numerical values na walang cosine and sine function, all we have to do is to distribute 3 na nasa labas ng parentheses para meron tayong 3 squared of 2 over 2 plus i squared of 2 over 2. So from a trig form of the complex number, we can change it into its standard form by doing the following steps. So once again, yung step na to, mag-work lang kung ang mga given angles or degrees doon sa inyong uh, um, complex number are in the unit circle. Otherwise, you will need your calculator para ma-change siya into its um, trig value. Now, for number 2, meron tayong 3 cosine 390 degrees plus I sine 390 degrees. Now, to change this into the standard form, kailangan natin makuha yung value ng 390. Now, bago nyo gamitin yung calculator nyo para kunin yung um, actual value ng cosine 390 degrees, Try nyo muna ang paliitin yung 390 degrees to see if it will be inside the interval from 0 to 360 degrees. Now, kapag nag-subtract tayo ng 360 sa 390, mapapansin nyo na magiging 30 degrees siya. Now, ang 30 degrees ay nasa unit circle, kaya pwede na natin gamitin yung unit circle to simplify our expression. So, yung cosine 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2, at yung sine 30 naman is equal to 1 half. Kaya, kung i-distribute natin sa square root of 3 dun sa dalawang values na nandito, masisimplify natin yung complex number natin sa standard form. So, ang value ng standard form ng number 2 will be 3 over 2 kasi square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which means it's just positive 3. Kaya, 3 over 2 yung fraction natin dito. Tapos, square root of 3 times 1 half, distribute nyo lang yung square root of 3, meron tayong i square root of 3 over 2. So, ito ngayon yung ating standard form for problem number 2. Ngayon naman, paano naman natin multiply yung mga complex number in its trig form? So, we're going to multiply and divide complex number into its trigonometric function or form using this formula. So, to multiply yung dalawang complex no number natin, let's say I have z sub 1 and z sub 2. To multiply z sub 1 and z sub 2, ang formula na gagamitin natin is to simply multiply the first r by the second r and add the given angle. So we have cosine theta sub 1 plus theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 1 plus theta sub 2. Now, kung mag-divide naman, ito naman yung ating formula na gagamitin. To divide z sub 1 by z sub 2, simply divide r sub 1 and r sub 2, tapos, imbes na i-add natin yung mga given angle, ima-minus naman natin siya. Kaya meron tayong cosine theta sub 1 minus theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 1 minus theta sub 2. So, ito yung dalawang formulas na gagamitin natin para sa pag-multiply and divide ng mga complex number in terms of its trig form. Now, yung unang example, meron tayong z sub 1 which is equal to 2 cosine 2 pi over 3 plus i sine 2 pi over 3 and z sub 2 equal to 8 cosine 11 pi over 6 plus i sine 11 pi over 6. Now, to multiply z sub 1 and z sub 2, gagamitin natin yung formula. At yung formula, napakasimple lang. I-multiply daw yung mga r's at saka yung mga theta naman, i-add natin. So, yung z sub 1 times z sub 2, 2 times 8, will be our first set of numbers na nandito sa labas ng parentheses. Tapos yung mga angles natin or yung mga radian measure na given will be added together. So meron tayong cosine 2 pi over 3 and 11 pi over 3. At para sa sine, 2 pi over 3 and 11 pi over 6. Now to add yung dalawang radian measure nyo, magkakaroon ka ng 5 pi over 2. So to further simplify this step, Pagka change natin yung 5 pi over 2 into degrees, mapapansin nyo na meron, meron kayong 450 degrees. 
Ngayon, ang 450 degrees is wala sa unit circle. Kaya magsasubtract ulit kayo ng 360 from 450 just to check if nandito or special angle itong 450 degrees. At mapapansin nyo na naging 90, siya, 90 degrees siya na nasa unit circle. Kaya ang gagawin na lang natin is to find the value of cosine 90 degrees from the unit circle at saka sine 90 degrees in your unit circle and it will give you 0 plus I times 1. Kasi ang value ng cosine 90 is 0 at ang value naman ng sine 90 ay 1. Now, hindi pa tapos yung simplification nyo kasi pwede nyo pang i-distribute sa 16 sa 0 at positive I. Kaya ang final answer nyo for this example will be 16I. So, kung marunong kayong mag- uh, Multiply, dapat marunan kayo mag-divide. And in dividing complex number in trig form, let's say I have z sub 1 and z sub 2. To divide z sub 1 by z sub 2, you just need to use the formula, which is r sub 1 divided by r sub 2. Tapos yung mga given angles nyo, eh, ima minus nyo naman this time. So I have 24 over 8 cosine 300 degrees minus 75 degrees, same way with our sine value. Now, by just doing the math, 300 minus 75 is 225, and we know that 225 is in the unit circle. Kaya kailangan hanapin yun na lang yung value ng cosine 225, which gives you negative square root of 2 over 2, at for sine naman is negative square root of 2 over 2. Then, now to simplify this, distribute 3 to your expression, kaya meron ka ngayon negative 3 squared of 2 over 2 minus 3i squared of 2 over 2 para sa quotient noong z sub 1 at saka ng z sub 2.